Hello everyone, this is just a quick guide on how to install Proton Tricks onto Linux. So first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to Google um, Mato King Proton Tricks because that is the latest version of Proton Tricks. If we click this, it is um, kept up to date by Mato King. And he took over the project, and now he makes sure that it works. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to install it, of course. You can get it as a flat pack, but if you would like something else, you can do this way, and I recommend it because I just found it a little bit easier. And also, this doesn't have flat packs for every single OS or flavor. So they recommend the pipx method. And basically what you have to do is if you've got to follow this. So the first thing you want to do is you look at the first step. The first step has multiple steps inside of it, um, which you will choose based upon your current Linux distro. I'm running MX Linux, which is a Debian based intro, excuse me, distro. So I copy and pasted this line into a terminal. And next, what I did was then, you've got to close your terminal once you install all this stuff. And then you copy and paste this one. Then you copy and paste this one. And then finally, you got to make sure you have Git for this one. To install Git, you can do Get Linux, um, and here's how to get Git on like a Debian. I like you probably going to use sudo, so s u d o, and then you can copy everything without the hashtag here, or a lot of package managers such as MX Linux, and I will show you have an easy to grab Git package. As you can see right there, I search git, and we're gonna scroll down to G. Uh, and here it is right here, look, it's git. So one, then you can, if you, that doesn't work for you, because I know that unfortunately the pipx method did not work for me on MX Linux, which is the distro I prefer. Uh, I use the pip method, which is not recommended, but it seems to work for me. So again, look at the distro, that kind of distro you're running. Again, Ubuntu, Linux Mint, MX Linux, a lot of the most popular distros are based upon Debian. So you're gonna to wanna to follow this setup. You wanna copy and paste this one. And you're going to install this, install this. So like copy and paste these into your terminal, then copy and paste this. And then finally making sure that you have Git installed before you do this, you have gotta copy and paste this and also this is how you will update it. Then what I would really recommend is that you go and get Xenity. Now, some distros have this installed already, specifically if they use the GNOME desktop, but MX Linux uses XFCE desktop, so I did not have Xenity from the beginning. So most package managers will have Xenity here to install. Otherwise, you can go and check out the Xenity packages. See, as you can see, here is Xenity on Ubuntu, if you're running in Ubuntu. The reason I have you install Xenity, because you might be a little confused as to why, is because it lets you use a GUI with Proton Tricks. Proton Tricks hyphen hyphen GUI. Then you can pick a game. Um, this ver what I just used this game with was, uh, or what I just used this program with was the game Port Royale 4, and then you click OK, and then it'll work a little bit because it's got to access or create the compatibility data folder of your wine bottle, which is basically the name for your little wine folder of this game. And there we go. When this shows up, you're just going to hit OK. And you're going to wait a little bit. Here we go. So because 
with Proton, each little pro each program is considered like its own Wine version. Um, we're just gonna hit select the default Wine prefix because it's the game only. Um, and then you can do uh, multiple kinds of things in here. Uh, some games need a specific font, so you can click install a font. Gives you all kinds of wonderful fonts here, many common ones that you see in Windows. Or one of the most important ones, install Windows DLL or component. So this is your like .dot next, DirectX, um, you know, all that kind of good stuff that you usually see in Visual C++ that you often need. And then you can just delete everything if you really, really feel like it. So that has been my quick Proton Tricks tutorial. I hope this is helpful. And as always, please subscribe so that you can get more info on future guides and first looks and things like that that I get. And also, it helps people who are looking for Linux gaming content to get you know it recommended to them. So also give it a like if you liked it, or if you dislike it, please you know, dislike it and then tell me in the comments because I'm really trying to improve my videos, but I can't do that without feedback. So let me know. And as always, I'm Gadget Guy, and I hope you have a wonderful day.